our stream starts are just strange Batman noises. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? Jason and I are taking a break from Stuff and Junk, from Standard and from Brawl, and we are just gonna chill and try a good old Bad Rare-a-thon. Um, I have built three two of them are terrible don't mind the misspelling i was under pressure um this one has worked out okay for the little bit of playtesting i've done this did not work this did not work so i think what we're gonna do jason has one built so i think what we're gonna do is just play this you know what f it we're gonna play all three and we'll just see what happens um my idea behind these were something kind of rampy and then this is just low curve so the ramp is less necessary and just yeah so we're gonna we're gonna try it i guess this is to like basically we had to build everything around reflections of lajara which i don't think is that terrible of a card but that is what the people at veracity games said was terrible so um oh we're going in going in. Now I gotta put my headphones back on so I can hear what the hell Jason says. Ahoy hoy. Let me unmute you so the, the people can hear you. Alright. I still don't know. I think... Yeah. You think? I'm just gonna play everything. You are? I'm just gonna play everything. Fuck it. Okay. Right? Right. What else? Fuck it. Um... Oh, they might be a little disappointed if my deck works the way it's intended. Yeah, you're just going to raffle stop me, which is fine. Well, I've had one loss after getting Reflections into play. Oof. <laughs> be interesting to see what you built. Can't keep that. Also can't keep this. This deck has a lot of land problems. Okay. I guess we keep that. I think we keep so this is another set where the mastery tree is just garbage. Oh, I didn't even look at it. I buy it every time anyway, so I was like, whatever. Didn't do it. Didn't do it, huh? Couldn't do it. Yeah, I should have looked at it. I was just like, oh, mastery tree. Mastery tree time. What do we got here? Horror or plant? I wonder which one. <laughs> Aw, oh, don't kill my stuff. Rude. I, got, I gotta kill your stuff. Rude. That's what my deck does. Well, that doesn't help me. Horror. Oh, man. <laughs> kill it. <laughs> this is the most spot kill removal it. I've ever seen Jason play with in my life. <laughs> kill it dead. <laughs> Booters, Jason's killing all my stuff. Sure am. Um. No, I'm good. How magnanimous of you. It's going to die. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> There it be. I also am playing horror. I kind of thought that is what you would go with. Um, I didn't want to copy you, which clearly I didn't because I have a completely different color scheme. But I imagine we will have similar horrors. Christ on a cracker. Okay. Sure. Oh, 
This is also going to make my, well, I suppose mine and your sludge monster uh, not be great. <laughs> you make assumptions that I am playing sludge monster. Of course I am. Of course you're playing sludge monster. <laughs> <laughs> non-horror creatures with slime counters and lose all abilities and yeah yeah that's that's gonna leave us with a whole lot of whatever they are creatures yeah <laughs> they just are what they are <laughs> no I hope I pull my mind flayer off the top. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Except I don't have my cool lit Jara. That'd be pretty good for you. Oh, wouldn't it though? This might be dangerous actually. Boom. You know what? Tab. I mean, it's not a horror, so I'm just going to make it a tutu. True. <clears throat> that is true. You know what's good by having one sludge monster? When you 70. Have more. 70 sure. sludge monsters. We'll just. All the sludge monsters. Oh, Xaxes. Xaxes! Batman said. He's not really, he doesn't care. Yeah, so I built horror right from the get go. Oh, for and, sure. And. Like. The one time I lost was against this rogue deck that was just. Every time they played an enchantment, they were spitting out tokens and gaining life, and I was just like, I, I can't keep up with what you're doing. I'll try the other two and see if they can do anything. Was that one of your good ones? Out of no. curiosity? No, I saved my good one for last. Okay. My theoretical good one? It, not even really good, I don't think. This is probably too slow of a start to actually be good, but we'll see. Booters? You're very loud. Killing all the things. Ow. Curse of leeches. Interesting. What he do? Stuff. Make one ones. Don't worry about it. It's fine.
that cost that much? Whoopsies. I thought that kicker was much less than it actually is. Ah. That was a whoopsies. If you don't stop trying to scratch me, we're going to have words. What you gonna do with all that land? All that land on said. Yeah, I'm gonna do fuck all is the problem. <laughs> you should be able to target it now. Throng in my deck. Why not? I don't know. You're gonna play your first counter spell ever, I'll murder you. <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> it's a horror. You never play counter spells. That's so funny. Uh if it wasn't a horror, I wouldn't. <laughs> Oh, see, and I kind of don't want you to have that either. Although yeah, probably not. Short of mana? I am short by oh, one. That, that's right. Stupid Curse of Leeches has to attach every time it flips. So many throngs. That throng, 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 throng. Yeah, it's all about that throng, baby. <laughs> I also found Curse of Leeches actually just be really good. That on the cur on the curse side or on the four four side. Eleven. That's right, the theme of this deck was elves. Really? I don't know <laughs> that I ever would have gotten... Oh, this is a good card. That's such a Katie card. It's a 4-4 flyer that I get to put back in my deck. That with reflection. Although, 
I didn't think it was funny. I've never found more than one reflections at a time. Oh, the last the last play test game I did, I found two. That uh, was pretty good. Alrighty, let's see if the quote unquote not bad deck can do anything. I'm not even calling it good. I'm just saying it's not as bad. Well, I mean, and you can see, like, I built this deck. I made zero alterations to it. And this is what I ended up with. And I was just like, oh, this actually, this isn't bad. Like, No. Reflections is a terrible card, but this deck utilizes it correctly. See, I feel like Lajara is a terrible card for the colors it's in. For, for the color it's in. You know what I mean? Like, if that color, if that card was green, it's bananas. True. Let's see. Can I start with a CMC 5 and greater hand? <laughs> That's going to be a no. No? No. Oh, did you do cleric? Nope. Batman, you gotta knock it the fuck off. You're crazy. <laughs> Alright, right now, so far you've done cleric. Yeah, I should have been like, I don't have to tell you that. Instead of... Uh, actually, I was going to kill whoever you put that on. Really? Um, funnily enough, yeah. Oh, I've been cursed. You have been cursed. Oh, it is human. Maybe. No, it is. <laughs> Because it wouldn't be human cleric, human cleric, human rogue if this was a cleric deck. <laughs> Fair. cry about it. Less helpful. I need to get a good draw. Me too. I'd like to get a good draw. cards. Okay. Yeah, not very many. Okay. You, should, you only get to mill one new card each time. True. My mana's going F it, treasure token. Gosh dang. Yeah.
know what you're talking about. I mean, I can never mill you out. <laughs> I got that going. Um, if I played only one, you could. Oh, yeah, again, I guess then you could draw it. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Nothing. I don't like it. Yes, you do. Nope. All right, like. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I think that was three. I don't know why you had to kill <laughs> Toxrail. Yeah, I can't imagine why. trick but that doesn't happen <laughs> you must be out your damn mind bats you are so loud Time. It is. That's relevant because I play more than one curse. I thought you would have seen that coming. No, I don't know how many cards you got. I don't know why I attacked with everything. That was a mistake. <laughs> hmm. You can play this mill game. about playing Voice of the Blessed just cause even though I wasn't gonna get double oh that would have been very a, helpful that's a great card to make go away that would have been very helpful <laughs> oh I need it to become day Nah. <laughs> Fuck. 
What's wrong, Katie? I hate that fucking card so much. <laughs> I just... I understand it's a good card. It's a great card, in fact. But it just shreks me. Always. And it's very annoying. I guess we'll get some life out of this. That's fair. Ooh, that piece of candy. That stowaway is never going to get through. Look at all this life I'm gaining you, though. It's true. I think you're out of throngs. I am. Uh... Guess I'll do this now so you don't have, like, the chance to counter it. I don't know if that's correct play, but it seems like correct play. Pretty much Doomscar or bust. I think I'm out of Doomscars. I am out of Doomscars. Ruh row. I mean, I guess technically I have a chance to live. So, I feel it's here. Yeah. Well, normally I would. I'd be like, fuck it and attack. But I was like, I guess technically I shouldn't. I'll give you a two two. Okay. That resolves. Whoop. So then I have to block that and I have to block Whatever you want. That, yeah. <laughs> no. no. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, true. You get some good ETBs that way. Well, Doomscar wasn't the next card, so that makes me happy. <laughs> All right. All right. So, which of your decks? Let's go over my deck first. Yeah, I think that. Would so be I'll give easier. you. I'll give you my deck, and then. After we go over this, we can either fix decks that you think might have or chance, since you liked your human version. 
right? Yeah, we can try the look at the human thing and see see what's up. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. You you liked your you you thought your human deck was a good version. Yeah, that was probably of don't delete of the ones I did. I think that was the oh here I'll actually go grab mine. Boop, boop, boop. Of the ones that I did, I think that worked better. Um, export. Portate. Well, I say because we can look at, at one of the other decks that you didn't think was very good. Um, I mean, I think the horror deck yours is just going to be a better version. So I don't think it's like, I don't know. It's like let's look at the bad version. Doesn't really make sense to me. Um, sure. The other one. So this is. I guess this is what I'll do. I'll just briefly touch on what my thought process was, because I thought. I wanted to get to Litjara faster, so I wanted to have green in my deck. Um, oopsie, I did that wrong. Um, but I just didn't really have a way... I don't know, that worked. I, there's not a lot of, like, great land grab for green right now, I feel like. Um, there's so it just didn't really... Enough. Yeah, I was like, it just didn't really work, or I didn't see it. Um, so that was my thought process. Get there faster. So I was like, okay, changelings, pick a creature type, go for it. Um, horror, I guess, was more successful, but obviously there's, like, better horrors to be playing in other colors. Well, hang so, on. So, anyway. I, I have some curiosities. So in blue, you've got some really good ones. Um, at one point, I was playing Patrick Crawler. Actually, I did change it because I was playing Patrick Crawler as well and ended up cutting all those. Um, Blue's got some, some decent ones. Froggy Myth is a horror. Uvenwald Behemoth Oddity is a horror on the backside, so not... Not the greatest. Um, Lurking Roper is not terrible. Three yes, because... Five. Sorry, because um, Lurking Roper then pairs with Froggymouth. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Sorry, let me... I had to eliminate all the non-horror... Or all the non-standard horrors that were not green or blue. Yeah. Um, there's really... Ugh. Alright, so I wish... Changelings... Popped up. That's not how you spell changeling. Yeah, I think I have to, you have to do under shapeshifter, I think. Oh, that could be... Um... So, like... Well, you get... Moretti of the Frost. Right. So that was cool. And then you play Realm Sludge Walker, Monster. obviously. Yes. Um, I played Roper. I played Masked Vandal, but only as a two of. I didn't want to be too cheeky, like getting rid of your stuff, yeah, yeah, basically. No, it, yeah, that's yeah. fair. Um, um, with our uh, Kin Seekers. I didn't end up playing them. I did play, oh, as you saw, the Creeper, to be able to, like, ramp. I played a druid class to be able to gain life for the roper. And I played bloodline pretenders to also be horrors, because then in theory always getting bigger. And maskwood huh? nexus for the same reason. Okay. I mean, that's all... Yeah, it's all, like, not terrible. It just didn't really do stuff. Oh, and Mind Flayer, obviously, because why wouldn't you? So this, like, didn't have enough land grab or ramp, I guess, because I kind of live in the fives. Right. Yeah. F for uh, that? I just, I don't think there's enough in green blue. I don't think there's enough in green. For horror, yeah. For horror. Yeah. 
But I mean, yeah, like Roper is not terrible, and Frog Emeth is a great card, so it was like, oh, maybe I can make this work. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay, going back to yours. I think you hurt yourself on your elf deck. Um. Your, your, your second. Hurt myself how? What do you mean? Oh, uh, just by keeping it green blue. Oh, yeah, that got wonky. And it ended up being hit... like no blue. Had... Ex... <laughs> I was going to say, had you actually just gone into black and just had uh, Reflections be your only blue card, might yeah. have been a better. I was like, I don't know if that's like not in the spirit of things, but then I was also like, well, you're only playing like one other blue card, Katie. Why is that not in the spirit of things? But because you put. One more blue card in, you're nailing the theme. <laughs> it was so dumb. But yeah, that was that one like really I was like, oh this sucks, I'm not playing this. I play... see I do mine or yours. What's that? I see you wanna play mine or yours. Yeah, I just Alpha I don't think is the right way to go. Yeah. It, it's it's rather cheeky. So Yeah, I think blue green horrors at least had legs. It just didn't I mean, not as good as Blue Black, obviously, but at least it was, like, a better thought, I guess. Um, okay, I've got yours pulled up. I didn't even think to make a sideboard. That's, like... Oh, I didn't make a sideboard either. Well, I... There's there's nothing I would change. Like, there's nothing I would go up against where I'd be like, oh, I, I need that. I don't care. Yeah. So, Wretched Throng, great. Even better if you have Reflections. Yeah, for all the exploit options, hell yeah. Well, I've only got one exploit creature. Well, yeah, I've but that's... Copies of it. But that's great to exploit. Oh, yeah, only two copies. Huh. I only own two. And I, I was just like, I don't really want to make more... I, I had to make three reflections, two reflections, something like that. And I was like, I don't want to make more cards for this deck than I have to. Oh, that's hysterical. I opened all the reflections. <laughs> I opened I had four, no problem. <laughs> opened all the reflections. Anyway. <laughs> um, full eight pieces of removal. Yes. Um, Grislax, um, just for the card draw. But because he's a legend, I was like, if I find him, great. If I don't, whatever. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Curse of Leeches, the backside is a horror, and popped up under my horror, and I was like, no, this is fine. Like, I'm not gonna, I'll never get to leaking, leeching lurchers, but just the intimate, you know, the steal a life, gain a life, the sippy straws is good enough. And if they never, if it never flips, great. Don't yeah, care. Yeah, like, that's still okay. Yeah. Um, I threw in the two Demonic Bar. I actually went looking to see if Grim Tutor was still in the format. And it is not. But this popped up, and I was just like, I mean, unless I exile all four, I can go get... And I actually played this in a couple of games where I went and got Reflections and then went from a pseudo-losing board to just crushing them because I was just like, and here's two of this, and here's two of this, and here's two of this. Oh, yeah, like, two two Mind Flayers is nuts. Like, Double Screaming Swarm is really good. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that I really, truly enjoyed that I got it against somebody was Double Hallbreaker Horror. Yeah, like, just suck it. Here's seven <laughs> mana for two, two of these you can't counter things and hope I don't have a spell to back it up because you, you're in a lot of trouble then. Mm hmm Oh, my God. Yeah, I looked at Screaming Swarm, and I was kind of like, whatever. But now that I, you know... Oh, I think because it costs six, so I was like, mm. um, Especially so in my horror deck. Enough for a 4-4 four, four flyer. Not bad. Yeah. The fact that it, if it... Especially in this deck, if it if the real version of it dies, you can end up with, like, 20 and mill them out in one attack phase. Oh, true. That's very true. 
Yeah, and the fact that you can recur it is nice. And the fact that you can recur it, I think, is why it costs so much to begin with. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah, I dig it. I think this is a lot of fun. You like the the, the tax reel? Yeah. <laughs> um, when I was struggling with the horror deck, I actually put that stupid frog in there that mills stuff. I wish that frog was good. I know. Like, it wants to be good, and it's just not. But, yeah. You're talking about Grolnock. Yeah. The omnivore. Yep. Oh, I wanted him to be so good. And, like, the more I read him, the more I was just like, I can't. I can't. Yep. I want to, and I can't. Yeah. Actually, so my deck started off with a tax rail, and I was like, what other slugs are there? Because he has sacrifice a slug, draw a card. So that's how my deck whole my whole deck started was this one card. Yeah, how do, how do I get me some slugs? <laughs> and I looked up slugs and there's like none. Womp womp. Back to slug. Uh, I believe he's the only one. In the whole universe? Wow. Poor Tom. He is Trump. the only he's the only slug that's not changeling. Poor Toxrill. Oh wait. Get rid of color. Yeah, he's the only slug. So I was like, okay, well, what else are you? You're a horror. And then I was just like, oh, Wretched Throng. Like, all these great horrors in blue. I was just like, yes, give me more and more of this. And then I want the black for removal. That's funny. I immediately thought horror when I started doing this one. Um... I must have been getting stomped by Holebreaker Horror a lot lately, but I was like, two Holebreaker Horrors is dumb. <laughs> so it I sure am- is. So immediately I was like, I want Horrors. <laughs> oh, Holebreaker Horror is such a good card. And frustrating as hell to play against. In that counter spell. Mm hmm. Who's a horror? Yep. Get ya. <laughs> it's so yeah, funny. But... In my head, I literally was like, I can play this virus. Jason never plays counter spells. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was, you, nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition on me. <laughs> I absolutely Spanish Inquisitioned you. <laughs> the Inquisition. What a show. The Inquisition. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. Oh, that was so funny. So I, like, realistically, if he, this wasn't a horror, I'd have zero counter spells. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't play that, yeah. Oh, God, that was so, funny, though. Because it's a horror and, like, I, my opponent was dumb? What did he do? Because I, he did something... Where, like, I won a counter war because he they didn't wait. Oh, that's funny. Well, I think he, I think he countered this before the, the the real one before I got the token. Like the token was about to go on this. Like it went on the stack, and he's like counter your eye, and I was just like, oh, okay. I still overcharged amalgam the spell I wanted to counter spell. Yeah. Token counters your thing. Yeah. Lols. Yeah, well, and the funny thing is, is that he's usually exploiting himself. Like, I normally don't have a board when I'm casting Overcharged Amalgam. Because it's like, okay, I need you to have a blank turn so next turn I can get Reflections and then take over the board. So, like, on my turn fours, most are, more often than not, it was just Overcharged Amalgam to an empty board. Sack himself. All right, my turn. Reflections. Now I... <laughs> Now my deck is doing what it needs to. Yeah. Now I stomp you. Alright, you ready to look at your, uh... My your, pile of cards? I would love to look at my pile Umin's of cards. cards. Your Umin's deck? I don't remember 
what made me think humans. Oh, suspicious stowaway is literally what made me think humans. Um, that's where I went with that. And then I think I was also like, well, white has some land grab, so I can, that man. White has some land grab, so I can, you know, ambitious farm hand into some stuff, um, veteran to kind of stay alive, and, you know, especially since my win con may or may not be slowly poking you with stowaway forever. Um, <laughs> or hopefully, well, and then obviously you got your aspirants to make your stowaways bigger, and your adversaries to also make your stowaways bigger, so... Um, yeah, Doomscar to reset. So, oh, hang on, let me, let me change this to be standard, but not Kamigawa. Yeah, I haven't opened any Kamigawa yet. So I think you actually... Hurt yourself by going into black. Really? Well, you've only got the two black cards. Yeah. And had you just gone blue white, like you could have played snow and used avalanche callers. You get two avalanche callers each time. Yeah, but like, that just lets me pay more mana into making more lands into things. It doesn't really progress it, I guess? Because what else did I look at for moments? Cool men. Um, Denik. I could hear an argument for Denik for sure. Um. I mean, you also could have just went into, like, Wizard, but, like, Delver of Secrets. Thought about Delver, but I'm not playing any instants or sorceries, so he would just never flip. You have Doomscar. Oh, yeah. But, fair. But Doomscar's kind of a non with that, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, and your token can never flip. So. Yeah. Still kind of nonbo ish um, I thought about Brutal Cathar, which I did not end up playing. Um, like, that might have been better than, say, Adventurer, just for removal-wise. Um, There weren't, like, a lot of good blue humans. There's some fairly decent ones. And everybody knows I love a good flying zombie. Like, I basically built a commander deck around it. But, like, Geralt like no wasn't gonna work. Hermit, which is fairly good. Uh, Cunning Geyser Mage. 3 2 for 3. Can't kick the token. But not terrible. Let's see. Garoff is pretty good. But multiples of him isn't great. That whole legendary thing. Yeah. Uh, Puppet Sticker. If you had more instants and sorceries. I looked at him very hard, but at that point I was pretty hard into, like, how far into the deck I was, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to completely redo this. So I was like, no. You know, if I made a fourth deck, I was in. <laughs> um, Igna? Oh, it's a legendary creature. Never mind. Well, it's not terrible, because when you cast her, at least one dies then. Yeah, because I was looking at... Lier, I was like, eh. Yeah, um, Lier's not great unless you're gonna go, like, heavy. But he's also a legend, so it's not all that yeah. relevant. Yeah, I'm not getting to. Um, 
Archmage emer like if you'd gotten like blue white human spells like, that could have been sick cuz archmage uh emeritus getting you know for four mana getting two of him or more would be really broken um even if you want blue black humans i think well, I even thought about doing a spirit deck, honestly. But then I ran out of time. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I even thought I thought about a spirit deck. thought that might have been good. Oh. Uh, Blue-green human probably would have been better than your blue-green horror. Yeah, quite possibly. Well, you still get, you get all the werewolves that are in green. There's some really good ones. Oh, very true. Uh, and then when they flip, I get their master. side. Um, you don't ever get their werewolf side. Oh. And if you cast them as a werewolf, then you don't get a token. Right. So there's yeah, that. Yeah, flipper dudes never flip. That's true. Only the real one will flip. But... Yeah, I still might dink around with it a little bit. Like, I... I don't really hate reflections. Um, it it ended up being a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I'm not gonna lie. Like there were a couple times where I was just like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna be any good, and then like literally was just like reflections. Uh, like I'm I'm staring down like my death in a couple of turns, and oh, oh wait, you can't you can't stop me anymore. Yeah, like literally, you can't stop me. Like, it's crazy. Um, I would definitely tell you not to delete your blue-green one. And maybe switch that one to humans over horrors. Yeah. I think that might be fun. Because you'd also get Autumn of Augers. Um, like there's a lot of stuff that you could get. Halpack Piper. Yeah, getting um the Tovalor... Huntmaster one would be probably pretty good. Uh, Sarath is also human. Not that you're going to get two of them, unfortunately. Although you can now with... Oh. That thingy? Yeah. Right, let me put Kamigawa back in. Yeah, it's an artifact. I don't remember the name of it. I don't have any. Of course, I don't have any. <laughs> but yeah, like I mean, no complaints about this rare. It was fun to build around. I can understand why people would think it was bad. Um, and it's certainly not great, but it's dare I say playable in the right deck. Oh, sorry, I did have one. Mirror box. The legend rule doesn't apply to permanence you control. Each legendary creature you control gets plus one, plus one. Ooh, what color is that? Artifact. Oh, dope. Each non-token creature you control gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with the same name as that creature. Oh. Man, now three brings that artifact. crested sun bear. Um, I think it's funny that the last time we were in Kamigawa, they also had a legend rule doesn't apply, and nobody cared. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times, those don't get played, right? Like, I played well, Helm was... of the Host, but... Well, that created tokens of legends. Oh, Which true. Leg... That was a little different. Helm of the Host was just a ridiculous card. But things that let you play multiple legends didn't see a lot of play because you got one out and then you'd play a couple legends and someone would just blow it up and then you lost all your legends. Yeah, and then you cried a little bit. It's a little better now because you at least get to keep one of them. Oh, yeah, they don't all insta-die? True. Oh, like yeah, was, back in the day, that would have been devastating. The original Kamigawa, yeah, it was just, oh, look at your board of all the same creatures that are legendary. Blow this up. They're all dead. Yeah, holy shit, yeah. That would have been the womp womp. 
Yeah. Yeah, so mirror box in like a uh, reflection stack in like legends could be fun. Yeah. Um, I did have a fun moment with my Soaring Thought Thief when I was doing that play test right before we played. Uh, I had a guy who was just like bouncing stuff a lot, and I had a Reflections out. I might have had two out, and I was able to play Soaring Thought Thief twice, so I had like seven, three Thought Thieves that were about to swing. It was, it was pretty nutty. So that part was fun. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But probably not going to be typical for sure. No. Uh, just because, like I said, I've never seen more than one reflections at a time. Yeah. Um, um, and usually if I find a reflections, I don't find one of my tutors. So I, like, I don't even have the choice to get a second one. Oh, true. Well, all right. Brassonians. This, like, so for this... Because, like, I've always said that most crap rares just require the, a deck to be built to prove that it's not crap. And this is proving you right? A deck built around a quote-unquote crap rare can show you how good it is. And Reflections, I was just like, this card is horrendous. <laughs> I've enjoyed my blue-black deck. I've enjoyed playing it. Even, you know, I enjoyed just the process of play, like playing it and stuff like that. So like, and when I found reflections, I was always almost Delighted. giddy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like, ooh, I get a reflections on turn five. Like, you don't say that about like, reflections. <laughs> even, even good rares, you very rarely are just like, ooh, I get to do this. And this is like, what powers my deck? And this deck, so my version of this deck. Is okay without reflections. Like it's it can still win and you can still I can still do a bunch of stuff with it. Yeah. But the power level with one reflections in play goes up so exponentially it's ridiculous. Yep. Oh man. So you're gonna keep playing your are you gonna keep playing that when like the quest comes up I, and stuff? I'm not gonna delete it. Wow. So I, I might change it. I'm going to go through it with Kamigawa now. Um, see if there's anything that, that might may or may not be better. Yeah. In fact, I know there's a there's a ninja better than Greslix for this deck. Y'all, Jason oh, yeah. hardly ever keeps his decks. <laughs> well, this would be keep until it rotates. Yeah. But that's still high praise for you. I kept two of my decks from our list, our standard. Oh, that's cool. Well, three technically, but I wasn't getting rid of my vampire deck. I've actually enjoyed that for quests, for that variety. Oh, yeah, I play your um, black-white one for quests all the time. But, yeah, I kept my black-white one. Uh, I kept my human one. Yep. So I kept human, cleric, and uh, vampire from that been working my way up to that human one but then i blew a bunch of rares for this dumb bad rare challenge <laughs> <laughs> that's fair well i mean i only blew uh rares to make the i blew the rares to make the reflections maybe a hulk hull break horror because i wanted at least two I knew I blew them on the Mind Flayers because I didn't own any before this. Oh. I, I only had one it. suspicious stowaway, so I had to make two more of those. A um, couple of Curse of Leeches and the Demonic Bargains. So, like, what is it? Two, call it four, six, like nine rares for this deck. That's not terrible, since you love it. I mean... Well, I also have 18 rares. Grant, I did open 50 packs last night. But, I have 18 rare mythic cards. Or wild card cards. Wild cards. I feel like I used to be at that, and then it, like, went to hell. Oh, at one point, I was at 
I want to say like 55 rare and like 36 mythic. Yeesh. Well. Yeah, if you're not inspired cool. by something and you don't build for a while, it definitely like adds up. Well, that and it was the, I was buying the 50 packs every set and then drafting it a ton while it was out. So I didn't need my wild cards for anything because I was just getting the cards naturally. Yeah. I drafted a ton of um, AFR, but I mean, now that's gone. Now we're on Midnight Hunt, but I did a ton of that. Uh, now we're on Neon Destiny. Right. Well, if I'm doing bot draft, we're on Midnight Hunt. I will oh. definitely not be people drafting a set that I've never drafted before, but... What is it? Play Neon? Play Neon, yeah. If you if y'all want your free packs. Just crafting what I can of your deck here. With the uncommons and the whatnot. I apparently also didn't have any Screaming Swarms. That extra explains why I didn't put it in It the is deck. not Play Neon. What is it? Oh, I literally saw the email today. But I could not tell you what it is. Off the tippy top of my head. We're gonna find out though. Oh, no, we're not. Shane logged me out of the Goo Goos. Did I lose you, or are you looking? Oh, I'm here. Okay, phew. It's like, am I just going to say the same crap Jason's saying? <laughs> no. But I can't hear him saying it. Because that would be the sad. Um... Glow up. Neon never looked better. Future is bright. Play Neo. Play Neo? Yeah. I know that's dumb. <laughs> but that's what it says. <laughs> You've got to play Neo. There is a lot. There's a lot of what? There's a lot of cards that I kind of want to build around. Yeah. Well, all right, Bresonians. I hope you enjoy this bad rare draft. We, or draft, bad rare game. We always enjoy doing bad rares. It's fun. Um, it's kind of cool to build around something different or that you wouldn't normally build around. Uh, check out Jason's side of things over at Tipple Gaming. Um, you can find his channel at the bottom of our page if you're not already subscribed. Uh, Jason, anything else you want to add? Um, so... My Nomad run ended at day 10, unfortunately. Oh, no! Well, because I play... After level 6, I play um, Permadeath. So if I die, that's the end of me going. Yep. So I, I, got, I bought a... Uh, thumb track or thumb ball mouse not too long ago because i actually truly like i enjoy using them especially for the games i play I, I don't need super speed on the turns and stuff like that yeah but my battery was dying and there was a bunch of cat hair around the uh trackers so i wasn't reading everything at least that's what i'm going with we can that's go with why that. i died but i'm gonna be starting a new series where I think I'm going to give myself seven days to either get into the desert or the winter biome. Because that instantly raises the difficulty level. Okay. So I'm going to try and give myself seven days to find and prepare for harder than just in the forests. Dope. When are we starting our next... Uh, seven days series the second i can get a computer that will let us stream a horde night without exploding because i feel like that's the most not necessarily the most fun part because us making fun of each other is the most fun part but <laughs> what's that 
I said absolutely. Yeah, but I mean, um, I'm probably would try. But I need to. Uh, but the horde knights are probably the second best part, and they're basically unwatchable with the current rig that I have. So I got to get that sorted, and then we can fight all the zombies. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, all right, Brestonians, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. We always appreciate the love and support, and we will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Good night.